Hello, I'm Captain Stacy Spell, Commanding Officer of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in Hollywood Division in the City of Los Angeles on April 24, 2021. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case, so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We're still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. At around 2.35 p.m., two Hollywood patrol officers were traveling west on Sunset Boulevard, responding code three with lights and sirens to an unrelated radio call. As the officers approached Fairfax Avenue, they drove into the left-hand turn lane. Prior to the officers reaching the intersection, the suspect, who was driving a 2012 Hyundai Sonata, pulled in front of the officers and stopped. The suspect then drove in reverse and collided into the front of their police vehicle. The suspect then exited his vehicle while wearing body armor under his clothing and holding his right hand behind his back. The suspect yelled at the officers to get out of their vehicle. Officers gave the command, put it down, put it down. The suspect ignored the officer's commands and counted to three. He then quickly removed his right hand from behind his back and simulated a shooting type movement. That is when an officer involved shooting occurred. That suspect was later identified as Richard Brian Silitro Jr. The officer involved shooting was captured on the digital in-car video. Most marked vehicles assigned to patrol have a camera mounted inside which activates when the emergency lights are turned on. The camera can also be manually activated. These digital in-car cameras have a buffer of video without audio. Upon activation, the camera goes back one minute and starts recording. Here's the digital in-car video from the officers involved in this incident. The officer involved shooting was also captured on the body worn video. Body worn video cameras are used by most officers assigned to field duties. They are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officer saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body-worn video cameras have a buffer of video without audio from the previous two minutes prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly, where an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. Here's body-worn video from the officers involved in this incident. Oh, you got cover, you good? You put it out? 
Okay, back up here. Yep. Hey, let me see your hands. Hey, roll to your stomach. Roll to your stomach. Get out to your stomach. I want to give you aid. Additional officers arrived at the scene to assist with taking the suspect into custody. Officers approached Salitro to render aid and observe the body armor. Hey, put, put your arms out to your side, bud! Here. I'm gonna step back. Uh, grab my med kit from uh, 50. It's in my uh, helmet bag, half circular bag. We need a try, yeah. You guys good? Grab that, bring it with us. Hey, I'm going to get this traffic control for you. We'll hook him up, him over, yep. and we'll render it. And we'll start rendering it. Control. Where is it? Yeah, Does he have a gun? Now, okay. uh, All right. Uh, what do you want to do? No gun, any weapon? No, no. Watch the crossfire shot. 001, watch the crossfire shot. And we're going to secure him, right? All right. All right, who's going to be point? I'll be point. Who's gonna uh, Who's gonna secure? We need two to roll them over. I'll hold. Deadly. We need two to roll them over, or at least get the hands out. All right. Yep. Are we ready? Yep. Well, me and Sean will roll them over, and I'll get the left and get the right. All right. Ready? So that control. Okay, sir. I can hold directionally, so it's not. To them, to the under eight. You good? All right, on you. Yeah. Let's do it. Hey, come on this side. Come on this side. I'm gonna hold this way just for uh, crossfire. Go ahead. Grab an arm. There we go. Hey, bring that. Okay, you got my med kit. Once we get hooks on, put it. Put a double set of hook on. Yep, double set of hooks with another one. We're good. Slow it down. All good. As soon as uh, we get that done, let's flip them over. Open my med kit up, get my shears out. Yeah, come on. Go get the med kit. All right, let's yeah, do a cursory search real quick. Cursory. Okay. Let's pat him down real quick. Okay. Do you want my med kit? Okay. All right. Here. I need another set of shears. Does someone have a, their med kit, their IFAC or OFAC? Yeah. Go grab it real quick. Excuse me. Fucking that slides. Okay. The Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics responded to the scene and determined Salitra deceased. Investigators recovered a ballistic vest and the item held by Salitra at the scene and booked them as evidence. There was no weapon found. Richard Brian Salitro Jr. was a 34-year-old resident of Rhode Island. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. We will continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete any forensic tests. After the investigation is complete, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police, 
who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics, drawing, and exhibiting a weapon and use of deadly force in this instance met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. If you'd like more information on how the LAPD and LA District Attorney's Office investigates all officer-involved shootings and other serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org, where you can also find the LAPD's use of force policy and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.